A stranger you say, Billy. What does he look like? Scary, Mr. Banks. He had weird clothes and a funny looking hat like nothing I've ever seen before. Was he very big? Yes, sir. About eight feet tall at least, with hands that looked like giant potatoes. Now, Mr. Banks, please do not encourage him. His imagination is prone to running wild, and his father hears about this, he's bound to spend the week dagging sheep. But, Mum, it's true. Good morning, Mrs. Handleberry. Billy, where'd you see this man? Just ran from the bank in a big metal time machine. Billy! Head, head out the back down there, Charles waiting. Don't worry, Billy, I'll look into this. I say, Ed, have you heard of the stranger that's in town? Can I say I have? We've heard there was a stranger in town. Very strange in fact. At least 10 feet tall with hands the size of pumpkins. Robin, this sounds bad. Hmm. I think I might just run over to the police station and let Sergeant Jock know there's trouble in town. I'll lock up and head over to the bank. Make sure they know there's a troublemaker in town. Hands like pumpkins, you say? Young Billy Lee just told me there was a stranger in town in some weird horse and carriage. Anyway, the bank is at risk. Robert, grab my rifle from the back office. I would head straight to the bank. He's not getting my money. Here we go, something. Why is he getting my money? Rightio, right 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 Pipe down, ladies and gentlemen. I want everybody armed. We must defend our town from this, this threat. Well, hello there. Am I interrupting something? Get him! Yeah. Oh, so you know, you should have told us you're from the city straight away. Really? Between saying hello and being pummeled within an inch of my life with kitchen utensils? The description of you and your fancy city clothes were new to us, and that automobile. Well, we have heard talks, of course, but none of us have seen anything like it, so you must understand our fear and apprehension. Must I? Is this really how you treat anyone that's different? When people look and act differently, it can provoke fear. Is that so? Well, that is a shame indeed. The country is on the verge of industrial and economical advancements, not to mention the medical breakthroughs that are saving thousands of lives each day, which is the purpose of my visit, in fact. I've been sent on behalf of the Australian government. You should expect word from tradesmen who will be commissioned to build the hospital. Might I advise you welcome them warmly, unless you find a few more loose floorboards and leaky roofs once they're done. Well, I must be off. I have a few more towns to get to by day's end. And if it's anything like this town, I must say, I'll tread with trepidation. Let this be a lesson to you all in this embarrassing tale. You all acted on whispers and gossip. It was a dangerous practice, and because of that, I was badly injured. It, but it could have been far worse. The day. Let this be a lesson to each and one of us. Just because a man doesn't walk with or limp, have trouble seeing or hearing, just because he has an education or can afford modern machinery, does not mean he is a threat or something to fear. We are all different and in that we are all the same. We are getting a new town! Yeah!